Hey everybody, uh, it's been about 10 days since I shot my last video and in the last video I mentioned that I was um, going to be going camping for a couple of days and then moving and then camping again. So I just wanted to share with you my experience um, kind of living in a situation out of my normal routine. So really living out of the back of a car or a bag or a box um, for about 10 days now has certainly had its um, impact on me. So although my physical activity was just fine, it was my sleep and my nutrition that was greatly compromised. And uh, the sleep in different environments, you know, in a tent and things like that uh, certainly, you know, had its toll. But um, I was able to sleep in my own bed last night and I even had my first vegetable last night, I think in about a week. Um, but, you know, about eight years ago, when I decided to really put an emphasis on quality nutrition in order to address my, um, some health issues. Um, I was suffering from pretty bad eczema and some psoriasis, um, frequent headaches, um, anxiety, and um, like chapped lips pretty frequently, cracking lips, that kind of thing. And so after about 10 days of less than ideal nutrition, uh, the first couple days were okay. I tried to plan it out, but you know, before I know it, you know, towards the end of that 10 days, I was eating a lot more things that I typically don't eat at all. More refined flours, uh, more sugar, um, and gluten, which I avoid. I, I'm not celiac or have any sensitivity, but I, um, it, it certainly makes me feel better when I'm not on it. So um, I've got a shoulder that gives me a hard time and that hurt a lot more, especially when I was sleeping. So a little bit more inflammation. Uh, my eczema started to come back with a vengeance, especially on my hands. It's about as bad, um, it hasn't been this bad in about five years or so. Um, my lips are more dry and more prone to cracking, so they're feeling kind of uncomfortable as well. So, you know, I expected more issues around digestion in my, my GI, but uh, that seems to be okay. But I just wanted to kind of share with you my experience of kind of going off the rails for about 10 days. Um, and what, you know, what was the result, so. And I guess, you know, what I really want to address is the fact is that a lot of us try to diet and, or exercise, and we try to be healthy, and we try to do things with our lifestyle in order to achieve certain results, and it can be hard, especially when we're doing it by ourselves, and then we go on vacation, or it's a holiday, or something happens, and we kind of go off the rails, and the most difficult part is getting back on. So I just wanted to share with you um, kind of my experiences and also provide some support for those of you out there who are having a hard time with healthy lifestyle choices is that if you're afraid that you're, you know, going to go on vacation, then come back and, and not, you know, get back to what you know is best, you got to plan ahead. You really have to think about this because I think that's the biggest thing is people do these things and then um, it's, you know, they stick with the potato chips and the pizza and the soda and all the foods that are very hyper palatable and addicting um, and convenient, but we know that's not the best choice for us. Um, literally, 90% of all that ails us has to do with the food we put in our body. So you have to nourish yourself and not just feed yourself. So um, again, I just wanted to share this with you and provide some support. Um, I'm on my path of healing now. I'm hoping within a couple of weeks of some clean eating and some good sleep that I can, uh, my skin will start to clear up and I can start feeling a little bit better. So I'm a little uh, more brain fog and feeling a little achy. Um, so, but that's it for now. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, let me know. Thanks.